Don't forget to check out our grades for all of the prospects in this year's draft class by visiting the link at the bottom of the screen. This was John Dorsey's first draft class as the new general manager of the Cleveland Browns. And coming into this draft, the Browns were active in free agency, made some significant signings, which made them a little bit more active in the NFL draft. Now, Jannard Avery out of Memphis and Chad Thomas out of Miami were two solid selections that provide good depth on the defensive side of the ball. Damon Ratley out of Texas A&M is a guy to keep an eye on as a special teams contributor. What I liked about this draft was cornerback Denzel Ward out of Ohio State. Ward was my number three corner in his draft class and is one that can play on the field side and also in the slot. He also has the ball skills and ball awareness to be considered a true number one corner. Also in the secondary, Simeon Thomas from Louisiana was a great find in the sixth round. He's a 6'3 corner that can work the boundary and use his length and size to an, as an advantage in coverage. I think he has really good upside. Wide receiver Antonio Callaway was an excellent pick. Callaway can play all three receiver spots and provide value as both a kickoff and punt returner. On the field, he provides really good route running ability, run after the catch skills, and excellent hands. If his off-the-field transgressions are definitely behind him, then this becomes a big-time steal in round four. I also like Nick Chubb out of Georgia. He's a solid back that should be a bit better being more removed from that gruesome knee injury in his sophomore season. He's got a lot of Frank Gore in his game and should be a consistent player for this Browns offense. What I questioned was the Baker Mayfield selection, not because Baker is a bad player. Actually, I think he's a good player, but how good of a player is my question? The Browns brought in Tyrod Taylor as a free agent to be the starter. And if we're being honest, do we really know or believe that Mayfield is a better player than the 28 year old Tyrod Taylor. I guess my question is, why not take a chance on a dynamic player, Lamar Jackson, or the high upside player, Sam Darnold, as opposed to a guy that may be more what you already have in a young Tyrod Taylor. Mayfield's game, in my opinion, is very similar to both Chase Daniel and Case Keenum with a little bit of Tyrod Taylor mixed in. Is that really worth a number one overall pick? And what does sitting him on the sidelines for the year really benefit a player that may not get the proof he's better than the starter? And if Tyrod Taylor goes off, do you allow him to walk and clear away for Baker or do you try to resign him and put Baker back on the sideline for another season? I also questioned the Austin Corbett selection. He's a versatile swing player, but I thought second round was a bit too rich for a team that could have addressed a need elsewhere. Is he good enough to play left tackle? If not, how much do you expect to play him as a rookie? I just questioned the fit juxtaposed to the round where he was selected. Desmond Harrison is an excellent athlete at offensive tackle that dominated his level of competition at West Georgia. Tremendous Division II program, by the way. Where he has upside is being able to take full advantage of a pro strength and conditioning program so he can gain weight without losing that quickness and the athleticism. I think he's going to blossom in this Browns program. Montreal Meander out of Grambling is another player with upside because he's still learning the nuances of playing in the secondary. He was a wide receiver at Texas before transferring to Grambling where he became a starter at at strong safety he has good ball skills and can match up versus bigger wide receivers and tight ends i think he's going to be another player to benefit from playing in greg williams's defense and julian allen out of southern miss intrigues me as well he's a flex tight end that he get didn't get utilized a lot for whatever reason at southern miss but he was able to impress enough on a tryout to get signed to go to minicamp he is of the same skills as the david and joku and seth the valve I gave the Browns a B for their draft. Nice, solid, all-around draft for John Dorsey. He adds to what I like to think is an already talented Browns roster. And with the moves they made in the free agency department and also in the draft, it's safe to say that the Browns will be much improved this upcoming season.